Yeah, let me go to the phones of Darren in College Station, Texas. Hi, Darren. Hello, Ira. Hi there. Um, I'm an adjunct professor here at, uh, at A&M, and we were also in the Gulf and got thrown out. Um, we were testing a theory that the chemical composition of the dispersant they were using was causing the oil to sink. And we'd been uh, mm. there for approximately three days, and federal agents um, – that told us to get out, and it wasn't fish and wildlife officers. These were Homeland Security officers, and we were told that it was in the interest of national security. <laughs> I mean, I could see restricting access so that 500 people shouldn't be able to ride their dune buggies along the beach, but reputable scientists should have access. Did they, did, uh, Darren, did they take your samples away or anything, take anything away from you? Oh, yeah, they inspected the boat. Um, they, uh, of course, checked uh, everyone's identification. And uh, they took all the samples that we had. They also took some notes that we had. The, the theory that we were operating uh, upon was information that had been given to us um, by uh, someone who worked in the plant that made that dispersal. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they took everything. Wow. I don't know, this is really I, kind of an insane world that we've entered into, that entered into in terms of the, the barring of reputable scientists from a public site where they can contribute considerably to the knowledge that we have. Uh, Dr. Dealey, do you know of other cases like Darren? Uh, yes, I've heard of other cases. We might be able to go in one area, but not into another, or we've been going to an area and then we get kicked out. This entomologist tried to study insect habitat in affected marshes, but was forced out, and samples she took after the BP blowout were seized by the police.